Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today we're going to do lesson 27 spelling words for the biography, The Dog That Dug for Dinosaurs. And again, that's lesson 27 in the Journey's second grade textbook. So what you will need, you will need a pencil for this lesson and a piece of paper. Write numbers one through 16 on your piece of paper. At the end of this lesson, I challenge you to write each of the spelling words three more times. So correctly write the spelling words once, one through 16, and then I challenge you to write your spelling words each three more times. So here's our learning target. I can correctly read and spell second grade words with oo as in book. Double O says oo as in book. Success criteria. That means how will you be successful in reaching your learning target? Well, here are the steps for success. I will read and say each word. I will spell and write each word correctly on your paper. And then you're going to do your best. And then my challenge is for you to write each word three more times after you write it once correctly. So let's get started. Words with who as in book. So can you guess what this word is for number one. It is took, like that person took a picture, the emoji took a picture, the airplane took off, and the boy took the dog for a walk. Took, T-O-O-K, took. Number two, can you guess? Books. B-O-O-K-S. More than one book is books. B-O-O-K-S. Books. Number three. Can you guess what this is? Number three is foot. F-O-O-T. Foot. F-O-O-T. Foot. So if you need extra time, push pause and then play it up again. Number four, look closely. What is this? This is number four, hoof, H-O-O-F, hoof. That is a hoof of a, possibly a horse. And there's other animals like a zebra has a hoof. Number five, cook, C-O-O-K, cook. Just like Remy in that movie Ratatouille said, anyone can cook, cook, C-O-O-K, cook. Number six is nook, like the book nook. If you go in a little area and curl up and read, you call that area a nook, N-O-O-K. Go to the book nook, a comfy little space. All right, number seven. These are all examples of Hood, like Little Red Riding Hood, or Robin Hood, or the hood of a fuzzy jacket that's on the dog, or the hood of a car, H-O-O-D, hood. Number eight. These are all examples of what? The person is chopping wood. W-O-O-D, wood. 
W O O D wood. Past tense of stand, that means in the past. Instead of saying I stand, I stood. Number nine, stood. The girl stood, the bear stood, the person stood at their desk. So S-T-O-O-D. Don't forget the blend S-T as in st. Number 10. What do you think that is? Past tense of shake. So in the past, you would say shook. S-H-O-O-K, shook. Like those people shook hands. They shook the maracas. The girls shook hands. And the ground or the earth shook in an earthquake. Shook. Number 11. These are all examples of a crook, someone who disobeys the law and steals is a crook, C-R-O-O-K, crook, C-R-O-O-K, crook. This is a compound word for two words we've already done, cook, book. We already did cook. We already did book. Put it together. It's a compound word, cook, book, C-O-O-K, B-O-O-K. Number 13, take a look, look, L-O-O-K. Look. Number 14. Good. Look just like it says, good morning, friend. Good luck. Very good. Good job. Good. G-O-O-D. Good. Crooked, crooked, C-R-O-O-K-E-D, crooked, crooked, C-R-O-O-K-E-D. So it's got the word crook in it with the E-D ending. It's a crooked line, and the opposite of crooked is straight. Number 16. These are all examples of a book case. We already did book. You just add case to it with the magic E, which makes the A say its name. Book case. B-O-O-K-C-A-S-E. Book case. All right. Up at the top, I want you to give yourself a reflection grade. I can correctly read and spell second grade words with uh as in book. Number, would you give yourself a four? I could teach this lesson. I was able to read, write, and spell all the words easily and correctly. Three, I was able to read, write, and spell most of the words correctly. Two, I was able to read, write, and spell some of the words correctly. Or one, I was not able to read, write, or spe and spell any of the words correctly. So my challenge to you, boys and girls, is to now write each of the words three more times each so that you really know how to spell them. Thank you for spelling the words with me today. Have a great day.